It's Sven from Seamcraft. In this video I want to talk about invite codes and WordPress and how to make a great benefits about the snowball effect of invite codes if you enable your users to invite others like their friends or relatives. With the all-in-one invite codes plugin from Seamcraft you can enable your website to manage invite codes easily. In this video I want to guide you through the complete process. So let's create our first invite code. The first option is to restrict an invite code to one email address. So if you want to invite a particular user, you can add his email address in here. And then this invite code can only be used by this email address. You can change the default number of invite codes which get generated after the invite code get used successfully. And if you use one of our extensions, we have already extensions for BuddyPress, BuddyForms and WooCommerce. If you want to make a product invite only, you can do so by using the WooCommerce extension. Now in our case, we want to use it for a registration and we don't want to limit it to a particular email address. So we just publish an invite code and it get generated for us. We can then copy this invite code. We can find all the invite codes in our invite code list. And now we have an invite code and we can use this invite code to start the first layer of our registration. So let's start it by going to another browser and visiting the site. Now if we go to the registration page, we can see that there is a new form element where we can add our invite code. And now we can give us a username and an email. So let's do that. and use this also as an email address. And now we can register this new user. And as we can see, it worked. And if we go to the mail hook, this is a local install, so we can catch all emails for an easy testing workflow. We can see that this email got registered. And now we are able to activate our account and set the password. So let's do it and log in. And what was the email, uh, the name of that test user? All right. So now our test user got logged in and he by himself will now get five new invite codes so he can invite others. I've prepared a page for this, my uh, invite codes. And on this page, the active installed user can find his invite codes. I created this page really easily by just going to pages and create one page with the shortcodes of the invites. Now let us invite a friend and enter an email. The second is a subject and the third is a message text, which you can change in the settings. If we go to invite codes, settings, under mail templates, you can define the subject and the message text and you have these short codes for site name and invite link. And of course, in the general settings, you can predefine the number of codes which gets generated. If an invite code was used successfully and enable and disable the normal registration integration for WordPress. So now we submit the invite to our friend. We can see this invite code was sent to this email address. And if we go back to our mail hook, which catches all our emails, we can see that the invite did work. Yes, you got an invite from the site body forms. Please use this link to register with your invite code. Now, if we quickly log out here to make sure that the new user can register and we click on that link, we will be redirected to the registration of the page and the invite code will be auto filled into the invite code. So we can just easily use the email address and a username. Let's use this one to register as a new user. And now this new user again will have the link to create a password. And now the circle is actually starting again. We can log in at this new user. Now what was the name of the new user? That one. 
and if this new user visit his invite code list, he again have five new invite codes to invite his friends or relatives or workers or whatever. And if we see into this in detail, we can see the tree of invites in the plugin. So we have all the statistics. It's in the beginning and really bare bone for now and will evolute from the UI in the future. In the moment, this is a starting point. We are looking for your feedback. We love to grow this to a great plugin with lots of extensions. You can also see the tree we have created now. There was a first invite code, then we used an invite code and we got new invite codes for these users and we can also see the invite tree of the users. So we know which user invited which user, which also helps to clean your community. If you have an invite, which was evil, some bad part of the tree, you can just delete this tree and these users will not be affecting your site anymore. So yeah, there is a lot of benefits, not even only the snowball effect, also the visibility of the grow of the community and the relations, the hierarchy of how the users came in. I hope that video helps you and please let us know if you have any question, if you want to get a video about a particular use case or have a missing feature, we are keen to get your feedback and create more documentation videos and extensions. Thanks for watching.